guys so today's video is going to be a transformation video I'm really excited I've been filming this video for like three weeks now not even kidding like planning it filming it all of this stuff and I'm really excited to finally bring it to you so in this video I'm gonna be transforming my 2018 self to my 2019 self I know this is uploaded mid January of 2019 I've tried my hardest I've worked really hard for this video and I really hope you guys enjoy it so yeah I'm doing my makeup different my hair different I get it done all this stuff and then I pick out a totally new look for myself for this new year let's get right into it I really want to focus on skincare because my skin got super bad last year. So to start off, I'm using the Mario Badescu skincare. This is the facial spray with, I don't know, I think it's just a great prime for my makeup. The Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I've used this for a very long time. This is something I just won't be able to give up because it's my favorite moisturizer. And um, I just really like how it makes my face feel. Next thing I'm going to do is go into my eyebrows because I never do this. And I think it would be interesting to try an out of order routine. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. Next I'm going to do some eyeshadow. And last year my big thing was I just took my bronzer and dusted like that in my crease. And then that was it for eyeshadow. I brought my two favorite palettes out. This one which is the BH Cosmetics Galaxy palette. So it has like a ton of really pretty colors. This Kylie Jenner Nice palette out from last Christmas. I haven't touched this as much as I wish I have. So I'm gonna come up with an eye look um, to wear every day. So first I'm gonna take my Maybelline concealer and just put some of this on my lids to prime it. And now I'm gonna take my Fit Me powder by Maybelline and just go over that. I'm gonna take the light brown matte color. <laughs> I'm kind of staying in my comfort zone, but I swear I will do something different. I'm just going to put this in my crease like I normally do. I guess that's okay. I'm going to take a MAC brush like this and then take the color Holly and put it not in my crease, but kind of in my crease. I found two colors that I really, really love, and I think mixing them together will be really cute. This one. So I'm gonna put that on my lid. Next, I'm gonna take the color Sun. Oh my god, this one's so pretty too. It's like this really shimmery. Okay, so that's the finished eye look. I'm not sure if you can really see it because I don't know how good this lighting is, so I'll just take like a few pictures on my phone. Okay, I took a picture for you guys and I'll insert that right here. But let's move into the face makeup. I love doing my face. So first, Tarte Foundation Stick. Stick foundation is kind of freaking fun because you could draw all over your face and then like it just goes away. After foundation, I'm gonna take that same concealer I was using earlier Put it underneath my eyes. Next, I'm gonna take some powder to set that. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm done with the powder. Now we can move on to the more fun stuff and put the color Holly underneath my eyes. First, I'm gonna take a hula bronzer um, just to contour. Next, I'm gonna take one of my favorite MAC bronzers of all time. It's the Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. The highlight that I'm gonna be using is the Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light. Heart highlight. Wow, that all rhymed. Um, it's really cute. I'm gonna use this on my top and bottom lashes. Um, I'm gonna set it with this Mario Badescu facial spray. And that is it for the makeup. I'm gonna move on to hair and then I have to pick out an outfit. 
Okay, so now it is time for the hair and I'm literally so excited for this part because I've never gotten my hair done before. I've and basically, I have been wanting to get blonde highlights in my hair for like years now, but I've never gotten them and I've just been waiting for like the moment where I finally do it and I decided, you know what, I'm filming this video. I've wanted it for a long time, so I might as well go ahead and do it. My appointment is at 6.30, so I'm really excited. <sighs> Oh my god, I can't wait. I really hope it looks good. I'm gonna go get that done and take you guys with me so you can see the process. So now it's time for the hair. Okay, so I'm back from getting my hair done and this is what it looks like. I'm super happy with it. I love it. Look at it. The bottoms and the top. I'm obsessed. It feels like super silky and soft. And I'm going to take some photos tomorrow as well as my outfit I'm going to put together tomorrow. This is like a long three day process video, but it's all going to be worth it in the end because I'm going to look like a whole new person. Cross your fingers. It is time for the last part of this video, which is to pick out an outfit. And recently I've been ordering a ton of stuff online, so I have like a lot to choose from. This is kind of like what I'm going for, like a 90s skater kind of look because it's totally different from my style right now. So the first thing I think I'm gonna wear is this top. I just got it from Brandy and it was $22. So I think this would look super cute with this top um, underneath it. I've been wearing this throughout the video, so I think it'd be like really cute to just put this on. I also am gonna ditch the leggings for a day because I wear leggings literally every day, and I'm gonna go for these jeans. These are thrifted, actually. I thrifted these, and so I think these will be perfect with this belt even better. And then, so my style is even more different, I'm gonna add some of these clips that I ordered on Amazon. I ordered like a ton of them. Um, you probably saw this in my haul video. Sorry, it's like super messy, but I have like a ton of these different clips. I think I'm just gonna do some of these simple ones because I don't want to make it too distracting. And I think I'll skip the butterfly clips for the hair, whoops, because honestly, I think I look horrible in them. So. Okay, so this is the outfit and I'm so, so happy with it. So the final look is 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Yeah, I put together this outfit and I'm really liking it. I think the style of it is super cute. Everything is put together. It's really out of my comfort zone, so I'm really in love with it. I just got this top this weekend and I love it. And the long sleeves underneath, like, are you kidding me right now? It's so cute. Even the barrettes inspired by Verena on YouTube, I'm obsessed with. So I really think I'm gonna start doing this trend a lot more. The jeans are even out of my comfort zone because I always wear leggings, like no joke, every single day. Makeup's done, the hair is done. I might even put it up for some photos because I want it to look like super different. That is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It was honestly so fun to film. This was like probably one of my favorite videos I've filmed yet. Follow me on all of my other social medias and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye! Mwah.